sword swallowing has been practiced for over 2,000 years. And in that time, it's claimed more lives than ex-wives. But tradition dictates that every one of our shows include a demonstration of this iconic skill. That's why I have this steel blade right here. Now, for those of you in the front row, I'm going to hold this blade out. If you want to give it a touch, give it a feel, check it out. See that it's real steel. It doesn't bend. It doesn't fold. It doesn't retract or collapse. But most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, the edges are dull. You see, every sword swallower uses a dull sword for a very simple reason. If you swallow a sharp sword, you will fucking die. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really that simple. Everyone, every time. But if you know what you're doing, if you have a dull sword, you can swallow it and get lucky enough to live. That's what I hope is about to happen. But before I can swallow this sword for you guys, there are two things I'm gonna have to do. First of all, no offense to you guys who touched the sword, but I don't know you, and I don't know where your hands have been. So before I put this in my mouth, much less down my throat, I'm gonna disinfect it with an alcohol swab. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna give you the health of Poppin sword swallowing warning. It goes like this. Ladies and gentlemen, if later on in your life, you find yourself at home a little bit drunk, Possibly high. Yeah, you know who you are. And you're staring at that pair of samurai swords you bought off QBC last month. And that little voice in the back of your head starts talking to you. It starts saying, hey, if that tattoo freak can do it, I bet you can do it too. Well, you know what? I'm not going to tell you not to shove a sword down your throat. But if you decide to do it, my advice is wipe it off with an alcohol swab. That way you won't die of an infection. <laughs> Second thing I'm going to do before I swallow this sword for you guys here tonight is to lubricate it. What's the best lube in the world? Spin. You're goddamn right it is. Don't worry, it's perfectly natural. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna step right over here and I'm gonna swallow this blade down to the pit of my stomach. With it still inside my body, I will double the danger and the fun by bending over in half. That way you guys get great pictures of the sword down my throat. I'll hold the pose for you as long as I can, but when it gets to be too much, I'm gonna drop to one knee, throw the sword up into the air, out of my throat, catches it, comes back down, and vomit on the front row. <laughs> <laughs> now here's the thing, it tells the pump, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't think there's gonna be vomit, but consider this. If your mamas could do what I'm about to, you probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> here we go. Check it out right there on the end of the blade. You can see something that wasn't there before. Yeah, a little souvenir from its journey inside me. That used to be dinner. Now it's dessert. Yeah, there's those funny pants feelings again, huh? <laughs> That's what sword swallowing has looked like for the last 2,000 years. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna step into the future because I've got another blade right here that isn't just bigger, it's brighter. Yeah. <laughs> My custom made LED sword takes more batteries than your best friend. And when it's inside my body, you're gonna know that it's real. If you look at the face of my throat where the skin is thin, we're gonna dim the lights and you'll be able to see it glowing from within. Here we go. 